What it is, y'all, it's your girl Giz. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a Bad Girls Club Season 10, Episode 5 review in Atlanta. Yes, I am on time with my review. Yes. So, Jessica, the new girl, she survives the first night in the Bad Girls Club house. And she and Paula was in the kitchen talking and everything about the night before. And she feels like she had a great time. All the hoes is getting along. She basically got these hoes eating out the palm of her pussy, basically. And so she's like, you know, telling her that she's feel tipsy from the night before. She had a great time. And so in the meanwhile... Shannon and Manning, Alicia, Stephanie, as well as Valentonio. I think Valentonio was on the side of the pool with them, too, if I'm not mistaken. But Stephanie was telling them that she feels like there's a ghost in the house because when she was taking a shower, she got this eerie feeling that something was standing behind her and the hairs on her neck was, you know, standing up. And, she, you know, basically she felt like there's a ghost in the shower when she turned around there was nobody there. And, you know, she wanted to go see a psychic so all of them go see a psychic uh first the psychic sees alicia and valentonio she asked alicia what's her name she said alicia she said oh she was getting the vibe that her name started with the a and then she asked valentonio was she from the west indies and then she was like oh the nigerian and valentonio was like you know what i should have stayed home <coughs> anyways she um started telling Alicia how she needs to put a harness over her mouth. Basically, ho, shut the fuck up. Because every time you talk, nothing productive come the fuck up out of your mouth. Nothing, it don't sound like you got any common sense whatsoever. You go all over the place with your words and shit. So just be the fuck quiet. And it was so funny to me that Oxygen decided to use examples of her beating around the bush and everything that fuck she said. And I agree with the shit. So anyways... Uh, she was ready to go ahead and end the session with them too. But Alicia said, I got one question to ask you. Could I trust these girls? Girl, you didn't have to ask that lady. You could have just called me and asked me. Because I would have told you straight up. You can't trust them, bitch. Not them. We can't trust them. Can't trust them. Can't trust them. Your mama could have told you that shit. No psychic had to tell you that shit. Everybody know you can't trust no man or no motherfucking woman. It is what it is. No. So... They got up and everything, and then she started talking to Stephanie. And I think she was talking to um, Shannon the Manning, too. But I didn't see the session with her, Shannon and the Manning. But with Stephanie, she was letting her know that this ghost is a freak. He likes the fact that you're bisexual, that you walk around the house butt naked all the time and shit. Like, basically, yes, there is a ghost in your house and he's a freaky ghost, yes. And it makes her a little bit more spooky and shit. So, you know, when they got home, Valentonio's, like, yelling out for the ghost to leave and shit. And, you know, Stephanie is all in her, no, stop, you know, don't do that. You know, all this other fuck shit or whatever. Well, anyways, everybody was wondering what the little new girl was going to look like. So, they had the little poster up of the new girl and everybody was looking like uh mm. hmm I just hope she don't start no trouble that's what people were seeing so um the new girl she looked cute she was a blonde she has a nice you know little small petite body and shit and you know she looked like a pageant girl and her name is Raquel aka Rocky she comes at the time when the ladies all go to the club and shit. And she sees that the house is turned up dirty. Just dirty, 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 filthy if, as a matter of fact. And I really do think it's fucked up that oxygen showed every little part of the house that was just filthy and shit. So Raquel took it upon herself to go in the makeup room and just choose like any, mini mini mo, whoever makeup brushes these is. They go in a toilet and gonna clean the toilet. Did y'all get a glimpse at that sink? It looked like it was some hamburger meat in the side and the sink thing like you know where the water runs out of it and shit that shit was nasty as fuck you hoes are disgusting your mammy should have taught you hoes better you are fucking ladies and you supposed to clean just filthy it just don't make any sense so i think i failed to mention that miss cleo aka the psychic she 
actually when they sat down because I had to rewind it on the DVR when Shannon and Manning and Stephanie sat down she said I just gotta bring this up I feel like there's an evil spirit in the house I forgot to mention that she the one who brought that up I think that's kind of weird and she also told them that the man probably committed suicide or some kind of death but you know anyways uh, they all like I said went out to a golf cart place and shit and they was you know riding around in the golf carts and shit and the new girl came and I told y'all what she did with the makeup and shit so anyways they came back from the golf cart place and they fired a new girl there by herself they put alicia on the screen this bitch is like this girl is in our house by herself for hours while we are gone like what kind of shit is that like bitch are you this this is her house too ho that's the reason why she's there to live with you bitches dummy like like the take the goddamn psychic advice shut the fuck up put a harness over that shit because you ugh, I, I just can't stand it so she meet everybody meets the new girl rocky and everything and um they all just said let's go out to the club and they was getting ready you getting dressed and shit and rocky realizes that the girl who make up that she, makeup brushes that she cleaned the bathroom toilet out with was shannon the manis and let me just say, when they did meet her, uh, she gave everybody handshakes. <laughs> and she said that Shannon the Manning had the hardest grip. She had a kung fu grip. That's what she said. I don't know if she really said that shit. I might be, you know, throwing a little salt in the game and shit. But, you know, the way she was, you know, acting is like as if the bitch had a kung fu grip because she had a strong ass handshake and shit. So, anyway, she realized Shannon is the one that uses the brush and, you know, they put her on the confessional and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, my bad and shit. Now, the first thing that this bitch said was she don't like to start drama and shit, but I really do think that is a nasty thing to do to be coming in somebody's house that you don't, you know, really know these hoes and shit and just start cleaning up a dirty ass toilet with somebody's makeup brush. That's some fuck shit. That deserves for, I, I mean, if Shannon meant the man and find this shit out and whoop your ass, you deserve that ass whipping. But nonetheless, these hoes go out and shit and uh, let me just say Shannon the man and just got off the phone with her friend Jerry telling him to bring a lot of one she's gonna throw a party and shit and you know invite a lot of people over and whatnot and all this other stuff so um they let the she let the new girl know that you came on the right night because we're gonna have a party and shit so whatever so anyways they all get ready to go to the club when I seen everyone's outfit I was like oh that's cute Oh, that's cute. But then Shannon the man, and they showed her coming out looking like she had on a Wolverine costume. It was like a bodysuit, a cat suit, or what have you. And I, I almost lost my dinner, you know what I'm saying, after seeing that. Because she really did give me some X-Men, Marvel type of tea, especially Wolverine. That's the first thing that came to my mind when I seen her with her outfit on. So, nonetheless, they all in the club and shit, and they dancing. It was a lesbian club. And, you know, Alicia or either Valentonio, one of them hoes was like, damn, we got another stripper because... Uh, the new girl Rocky or Raquel, she was in there just dancing with every fucking body, just like Jessica was in there dancing with everybody. But then there was this one stud that Jessica was talking to, and um, Jess Jessica looked over and seen Rocky all dancing on the stud and shit, putting a pussy all in the bitch face and stuff and all this other shit. And she felt some sort of type of way. And she was like, I can't believe she's dancing with the chick or whatever. And so Rocky was like, you know, you've been dancing with everybody. And they showed clips of this bitch actually dancing with every motherfucking body. So, you know, what the fuck? It still was a fucked up thing to do for Rocky to do that. But still... Jessica shut the fuck up because you was dancing with everybody in the club too so you know how you gonna make this whole SOS I don't understand it but anyways you know everybody's home they're getting ready for bed and shit and uh Jessica comes in the kitchen and see that her hot pocket is half eight she finds out rocking in and like how the fuck you gonna eat my hot pocket when I'm you know when I'm gone or whatever she's like it's no big deal I only ate a little bit I only took one bite that was a big ass bite bitch you got a big ass mouth if you took one bite but anyways nonetheless here come god damn it Paula again I wish somebody break 
Paula as well as Stephanie's eyebrow pencil. Like, get your brows intact. Somebody teach these hoes how to do a right, a, the right arch. You know what I'm saying? Because something's going on with these hoes' eyebrows, and it's just not right. So, Paula jumps in and like, how the fuck is you going to eat somebody else's hot pocket? You don't even know this person. Blah, blah, blah. And she started, you know, getting in the girl face. And then, here comes Jessica getting in the girl face and shit. And then, they end up pushing and shoveling and, sh and just pushing and shoving, you know. And then, um... It comes out to where they's on the outside of the house. I don't know how to end up out there. Maybe somebody was taking a smoke break. Because that's the fuck what I would have been doing. Taking a smoke break. Laughing at these holes. Because. Honestly. Arguing over a hot pocket is something fat holes do. That is something we fat bitches do. I. I. You know. Have never seen. Bitches get mad over food like that the last time somebody ever got mad was over food that i seen on television was back on college hill days i don't know if y'all remember that but when um the 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 girl ate the dude ribs ate cow ribs and shit that shit was so funny when he made her put his ribs put the money in the microwave where she got his ribs it was just so funny back then but these Two chicks arguing over a hot pocket, which is, you know, a reasonable argument because who the fuck eats somebody else's shit that they warmed up? Anyways, Rocky ends up warming up Jessica another hot pocket, and Jessica keeps getting in her face and shit. And, um, they got to the part where they were outside, and I don't know how these hoes end up outside. Jessica is holding her two, it looks like two hot pockets in her in her hand. I played the two hot pockets and still arguing with Rocky. And uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> Jessica smashed the damn hot pockets in Rocky's face. And Rocky, you know, pushed her real, back, you know, real hard. And it was like a hard push because she pushed that bitch like far, real far. And, um, you know, they was trying to break it up and shit. And then, you know, uh, Jessica goes inside the house. Rocky tried to go in. And Jessica closed the door in her face. And, you know, Rocky's like, yeah, close, slam the door. And she opened the door again. And, you know, go in her face. And, you know, it looks like Jessica. Uh, well, really, it looks like Rocky kind of pushed or punched Jessica first in the face. Like, you know, bad, bad bitch. One of those bad, bad bitches. Give me 50 feet you know moves and Jessica just leached over and punched the bitch right in the face she like damn you punched me in the face you know it's time to go home I, I think she said something about going home and stuff and then they end up you know scruffling and shoving again and <laughs> they end up in the house uh but while they let me just say this when Jessica punched Rocky in the face and you know everybody's trying to break it up I don't understand how Paula voice goes from a alto to damn a fucking tenor almost. She's like, yo, 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 break this shit up. You gonna wanna go home for this shit. You know, break it up. She was just yelling over everybody, sounding like a grown ass man. I didn't understand that one. But anyways, they in the house still pushing and shoving and and I'm telling you, this girl, Rocky, just keeps slaying Jessica. I'm like, Jessica, why'd you keep getting in this girl face? She keep on giving you them back the fuck back pushes and she pushing this whole hard to where the whole fell on the floor and shit and, and Anyways, they break this shit up and stuff, and, um, they was like, why, why are you, you know, we finna get ready to party and shit, so, they, um, so they, um, end up showing Shannon, not Shannon, Rocky and Shannon on the side of the pool table or somewhere they were sitting at, you know, talking to each other, and Shannon's like, she's the only one that's actually talking to this bitch and getting to know this bitch, and it's good that she's not, you know, running in clicks with motherfucker. She's a standalone person and whatnot and whatever. So, you know, her and um, Rocky have their little friendly moment and shit. So, anyways, to go ahead on with the damn episode, here's the party. Everybody's getting called to come and everybody's coming. They got alcohol. They got all of this stuff. Then Jerry shows up with a bag full of money and then all of a sudden these hoes, well, before Jerry show up, these hoes was giving each other lap dances. I see Shannon and Amanda pussy all in the other bitch face and I'm like, 
really and you know so jerry walks in with bags of money and shit a whole bunch of ones and start making it rain on motherfuckers and she and they're like yeah he's he don't make it rain he make it um what she said she if he make it hurricane on motherfuckers i don't know but it was a bunch of ones i could admit that i i, I would think he bought probably like you know five hundred dollars worth of ones maybe more who knows but you know he was kind of weird too he was you know getting lap dances and i was realizing that money made bitches change because all of these hoes was over him but paula and paula was like he's a weirdo like what the fuck he, that, he, like i can't see myself over this pervert what the fuck is this and shit so you know the night kind of you know died that was a party kind of died a little bit and it showed rocky back in damn uh jessica face because jessica's dancing all over everybody i mean i mean jessica all in rocky face let me take that back jessica was all in rocky face because rocky's dancing all on everybody and shit and so you know they started arguing again jessica standing on the table and shit and you know rocky just really ready to like really just say fuck this bitch i'm finna let this bitch have it and rocky took the whole bunch of shit that i went and take she endured a whole bunch of shit that i wouldn't endure like the bitch pulling her hair pouring beer all over her jessica was just a whole nother bitch and i don't understand why she's doing all that when she knows she can't beat Rocky like I can tell that Rocky will whoop this girl ass but Rocky just held her composure let this girl beat up on her and bully her a little bit Shannon was saying that she don't support the bullying and all this other shit but ain't nobody step in and do nothing and um she was just like you know what you know fuck this I can I can take this bitch and she kind of like got tired of this bitch keep fucking with her and so um she went ahead and took her um stuff like her poster and her picture and um her makeup and threw it all in the toilet and she just did a lot of shit and everybody was like um well really stephanie was like she threw your shit in the toilet and she was like you know that's okay that's okay i'm like nah bitch that ain't okay you should have whooped that bitch ass all that talking in the fucking interview she was saying like how you know people be shocked on how she, you know she is or whatever i'm shocked on how she kind of poured all that beer and shit and stuff on that girl and you know seeing the girl wasn't trying to you know fuck with her and shit I, that's some shit i'm shocked about but you ain't do nothing you ain't you ain't really a bad girl you ain't you ain't you know do what i thought you would do and rocky is man handling your ass really so anyways Rocky's uh took her well uh Jessica ended up taking Rocky's mattress and throwing it in the pool and Alicia's like for real bitch no Jessica I'm sorry I don't know why I keep getting these hoes name mixed up but they both new girls so you know forgive me Jessica takes Rocky's mattress and throws it in the pool and shit and Alicia's like, really, bitch? Like, do something that no bitch on Bad Girls Club has done. Like, blow up the mattress or something. Don't just put the bitch in the pool. That's some shit that they already done. It has been done before. We all seen this. And I'm saying the same thing. Please, with the putting the mattresses in the goddamn pool. What the fuck? So, um, Jessica had nowhere to sleep. She's sleeping under the railings of her bed. And... Shannon walks by and sees this, and Shannon picks up Jessica's drunk ass and put her in her bed. Who's in her bed? Jerry. He's fucked up, too. The next morning, everybody's like, oh, really? You know, like, you fucking this nigga? You a hoe and shit. You know, and... <coughs> At first, I had to rewind it on the DVR. When Shannon was taking her out of the bed, I was thinking that Shannon was saying that, you know, she was going to sleep in the bed, too. In any event, I would say that if they didn't have any other place to lay this bitch, put her in the bed. Don't let her sleep up under the damn railings and shit. But, um, they got a couch. 
they got you know other beds you could have you could have let her sleep in somebody else's bed like paula was saying she could have slept in my bed you know what i'm saying why put her in the bed with a man that she don't know she's fucked up in a vulnerable ass stage you don't know what the fuck that man could have done to that girl that was kind of fucked up to do but i don't think shannon did it intentionally i'm just gonna say that shannon the man and didn't look like she did it intentionally she knew they both was fucked up and she felt like nothing was gonna happen but everybody kind of like jumped on this girl everybody jumped on shannon was like shannon that was fucked up and you know jessica just um not jessica rocky just took advantage of that situation and shannon's like really bitch like these hoes just jumped on you and you really like taking advantage of the situation crying and shit like you didn't try boo that's why you shouldn't drink so fucking much and shit but anyways everybody's like really on her and you know uh goddamn uh peaches uh what her name paula with the fucked up eyebrows. It's like, how could you do that? And whatever, you know, like, y'all gotta think about it. Y'all don't like this bitch. Y'all didn't give a fuck to this bitch, um, mattresses in the pool and shit. But I, I understand your argument, but just think, you know, maybe Shannon just felt like both of these bitches was knocked out and that's the closest place she gonna help this drunk bitch go. She probably didn't want to help this drunk bitch all the way downstairs on the couch. I don't know. I can't say it, but I don't think that Shannon did that, tension, that shit intentionally. If you guys think that she did it intentionally, then let me know at the bottom of the comment section. That's about it with the Bad Girls Club review episode 5. I can't wait to see episodes hit so I can see how this shit turn out but anyways this is your girl gigs bye not real hard is plain and simple not real hard is